Hello my loves, welcome back. Today we've got a five minute session all about the hamstrings. You're going to need a tennis ball. So grab your tennis ball, get down on your yoga mat and come into seated. We're going to come into Dandasana. So you'll feel the sit bones connected to the floor and the feet will be around hip distance apart. Legs are lengthened in front. There's a nice low line from the torso to the heart to the hips. Feel that you're sitting nice and tall here. And as you sit nice and tall here, I want you to think about where your sit bones, your pelvis and your hamstrings, the back of the thighs connect to the floor. What's the relationship here to the floor? And we're going to take what is a, a baseline. We're going to take a baseline measurement of our hamstrings. So keeping the legs lengthened somewhat here from the hip crease, so from the hip crease here, hinge forward and just fold over the legs. As much as you can, how far can you get towards the floor and where are you feeling the limiting factor here? Unfold, rise back up, and then grab a hold of your tennis ball. Bend your left knee. And as you bend the left knee, the left foot comes to the floor. You'll lift your right hip up and you'll take the tennis ball towards that sit bone and then two inches towards the knee. So it's not right on the pelvis, it's two inches further down towards the foot. Okay, so once you have that, let the pelvis settle down. And if this is your opportunity here to kind of reposition it where it needs to be. As you reposition it here, think about letting the pelvis settle. Put the weight of the body down. The temptation here is to lean back. Leaning back is easier. Let the torso be upright, or if you can, maybe even lean forward over this supporting left leg. As you think about that and think about the tension that you may feel in the right hamstring here, maybe think about that right foot. Can you flex and point through your right foot. Now as you do this, you're going to think about how this feels to the hip and the hamstring here. Might be easier when you point the toe or is it harder? Is it harder when you pull the toes towards the head? What's your experience here? And is it getting a little bit easier? Is it getting a little bit more happy? Happy hamstrings. Now that you're kind of loosening up the hamstrings some. Relax the foot. Settle into it. Take one more breath. And then lift that right side of the pelvis, remove the ball, set the pelvis down, it will feel weird. Let the left leg lengthen with the right leg. What differences do you feel from right to left? Does this right side feel like a flat pancake on the floor? And then from the hip crease, hinge forward. <sighs> How do the legs compare right to left? Unfold. Bend the right leg. Lift the left side of your pelvis. Take the ball again about two inches further down the femur than the sit bones so that you're not on the sit bones, you're further down into the muscle. Okay, once you find that, remember you're not leaning back. You're either up or forward. Just hold it there, just stay, hang out in there. How does this side feel compared to the previous side? And then start to think about moving through the foot and the ankle, flexing and pointing through the foot. How does that change? the relationship of the hamstring and the ball here. And is that different on this side compared to the right side? That's always an interesting thing to think about. Just as we have one side that's stronger, we have one side that's more flexible. Mm 
to let the foot settle. And take one more breath, no rush. Lift the left side of your pelvis, remove the ball, let the left side come down. How's your pancake on that side? Let the right leg lengthen. Take the ball, place it to one side. How does the pelvis and the hamstrings feel connected to the floor here compared to the previous four minutes ago? And then from the hip crease, hinge forward. One fold. So I wanna know, were you any closer to the legs after you put the ball underneath the hamstrings and done the hamstring massage. If you were, let me know in the comments. Okay, my loves, that's all I have for you today. If you're looking for more work to release tight hamstrings, then check out my Patreon. I did a 30 minute video, including this exercise and more for the hamstrings. The link is in the description. Sign up today. What are you waiting for? And remember, my loves, that karma is only a bitch if you are. So be nice, be kind, and be the change that you want to see in the world.